a lost city in America's heartland, a towering pyramid rivaling Giza. Tens of thousands inhabited this metropolis before Europeans arrived. How did North America's largest pre-Columbian city thrive, then vanish? Cahokia's sprawling urban footprint and enigmatic mounds capture archaeologists' imaginations. What secrets do these silent sentinels guard? What discoveries remain entombed beneath the rolling Midwest plains? What kind of agriculture could sustain a population of over 10,000 in the Mississippi River Valley over 500 years ago? Did the people of Cahokia forge trade connections up and down North America's great rivers? Was there a single ruler or council of elders that governed the city? And why, after centuries of continuous occupation, did Cahokia's residents ultimately decide to abandon their magnificent city? New discoveries continue as archaeologists employ innovative techniques like LIDAR mapping and chemical analysis of human remains. Let's examine how discoveries at the enigmatic archaeological site of Cahokia are revolutionizing our understanding of ancient urbanism and technology in North America. The first glimpse into Cahokia's scale comes from viewing its massive earthen mounds, the largest of which covers over 14 acres and rises 100 feet high. That's about the height of a 10-story building. Initially mistaken for natural hills by early French explorers and American settlers, the mounds are actually monumental structures intentionally built by Cahokia's inhabitants. Imagine the ancient equivalent of the Egyptian pyramids constructed in North America. Archaeologists have discovered that Cahokia's early 12th century builders used ingenious engineering techniques to erect these mounds in basket shapes, with retaining wooden walls and clay brought in by the basket load from nearby wetlands. This allowed the mound's size to increase quickly without collapsing. But the question remains, what compelled Cahokia's architects and rulers to devote such tremendous community effort toward building these mounds? Discoveries in the largest mound, Monk's Mound, provide intriguing clues. The flat top of Monk's Mound perfectly aligns to important solar equinoxes and solstices, evidence it functioned as an astronomical observatory or solar calendar. Other excavations reveal more about how Cahokia's leadership directed construction of the mounds. In one pit at the base of a large mound, archaeologists found offerings, carefully arranged freshwater pearls, polished statuettes, and the disarticulated skull of a male bison. Radiocarbon dating indicates these items were placed during initial mound construction in 1000 Common Era, likely as dedicatory offerings to supernatural forces or ancestors. This discovery provides a glimpse into the spiritual beliefs that motivated and sanctified the creation of Cahokia's monumental mounds. Archaeologists have found extensive field systems surrounding the central city complex, with evidence inhabitants engineered the landscape to drain and farm nutrient-rich floodplains. Pollen and paleobotanical studies show Cahokia's residents cultivated and improved one of the world's most important domesticated crops, maize. Several varieties of corn have been discovered that could be grown multiple times per year. Surplus corn and storable crops like squash meant the city could remain occupied year-round and trade goods with other regions using North America's rivers. Artifacts found at Cahokia provide evidence for the city's broad trade connections. Exotic materials from far-flung regions indicate Cahokia participated in exchange networks spanning much of North America. Marine shells from the Gulf of Mexico, arrow points chipped from yellow stone quarried in the Rocky Mountains, sheets of mica mined in the Appalachians, all attest to Cahokia's access to diverse continental areas. Some archaeologists have suggested Cahokia even had contact with Mesoamerican civilizations farther south. Figurines uncovered at Cahokia bear a striking resemblance to artistic styles found in Mississippian and Mayan cities. Evidence indicates people, goods, and ideas flowed into Cahokia from locations hundreds of miles in every direction. Innovations in excavation technology continue revealing new facets of this continental hub. Recently, archaeologists have employed LIDAR, light detection and ranging, to peer beneath vegetation and reveal landscape features otherwise hidden. LIDAR imagery from Cahokia exposes evidence for roads, residential zones between mounds, gardens, and previously unknown earthen pyramids. Researchers can now glimpse Cahokia's plan from the perspective of soaring birds who viewed the city centuries ago. Coupled with chemical analysis and microscopy to examine artifacts, paleobotanical remains, and even human teeth found in situ, 
21st century archaeologists employ space-age tools to elucidate ancient secrets from Cahokia's heyday. Ongoing research seeks to explain Cahokia's abandonment after 500 years of continuous occupation. Why would generations of inhabitants simply walk away from such a successful hub? Archaeological evidence points to climate change, environmental degradation from excessive land use, growing inequality among social classes, and increased warfare with other regional powers as prime culprits. Like the mythical city of Atlantis, Cahokia now slumbers beneath empty fields and forests along the Mississippi. But the site still guards additional revelations about America's first city waiting to be unearthed. Recently, archaeologists discovered an additional 50 mounds clustered around Cahokia's central precinct using LIDAR scans. Digs at a large mound five miles south of downtown Cahokia uncovered a council house likely used by outlying subject rulers paying homage and tribute to Cahokia's paramount chief. And new excavations in Cahokia's Grand Plaza found evidence of feasting and craft production areas for regional gatherings. It seems Cahokia's influence as the hub of Mississippian culture stretched for dozens of miles in the region. Analysis of isotopes and chemical signatures left in excavated teeth and bones also unlock secrets of Cahokia's society. This research indicates Cahokia saw waves of migrants flooding into the city, drawn by promise of prosperity, stability, and connection to supernatural power the site offered. It also reveals stark differences in access to food that denote the emergence of an elite ruling class, whose remains demonstrate luxury of prime hunting game, corn fat and deer beyond common means. Discoveries continue elucidating the cosmology and spiritual practices that sustained and inspired Cahokians across centuries. Exquisite engravings found on copper plates and marine shells buried alongside later rulers signify the emergence of a gladiatorial warrior ethos and connections to the falcon god and solar deity that marked the height of Mississippian period chiefdoms. Iconic symbols echoing central Mexican traditions found buried in ritually destroyed council houses hint at a shared ideological horizon linking Cahokia to major Mesoamerican centers farther south and excavations of additional burial mounds dating between 1300 to 1400 Common Era reveal disarticulated skeletal remains indicating gruesome group human sacrifices were performed attempting to ritually reverse Cahokia's terminal decline. The ancient city of Cahokia represents one of North America's most sophisticated urban experiments prior to European contact. Ongoing archaeological research continues elucidating how and why this native civilization thrived and ultimately faded. Discoveries at the site push back timelines for the adoption of agriculture, engineering of monumental architecture, emergence of powerful chiefdoms, and development of continental trade. Cahokia's enduring enigma serves as a touchstone for re-evaluating the resourcefulness creativity, and self-determination of indigenous New World societies. Just as Cahokia's soaring mounds dominated the ancient Midwest horizon, discoveries from this remarkable archaeological site loom large for understanding the dynamics of nascent urbanism in early North America. There is still much to learn from her fertile fields and hidden mysteries.